hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you guys how i get my hair this curly and how i fake a blowout basically without blow drying my hair but yeah i'm just gonna let you guys get straight into it and i hope you guys enjoy um and also i'm using all beauty works products except for the hairspray it's l'oreal elnet um so yeah i'll make sure to link that below if you guys purchase any of the stuff but yeah so i'll see you guys soon bye a lot of questions on my hair so let me just answer some hair questions for you whilst my hair dries a little bit because it's still a little damp by the way this is what my hair looks like when i've washed it hair texture is pretty wavy um very dead because i've bleached it like so many times i don't even know how many times at this point i have a blonde balayage with well, I don't know if they're money pieces because they're not really thick money pieces, but like highlights at the front and then highlights throughout and then it goes into a polyage. But my highlights don't touch my root because I just don't like the way that looks on me. I'm going to be using the Molly May Curl Kit. I think it's the first one that she made. And I'm using this curler. It's on right now, so let's not burn myself. But yeah, so I put it onto 220 degrees. It's a really long barrel. Um, so if you have hair extensions, this is wicked and if you've got very long hair, it's so sick to use. Okay, it also comes with this heat pad thing, so you can just put your curler or whatever it is on your table without burning anything. And then it comes also with these, with this comb. I love this comb, it's such a good comb. I don't know, the brightness is very bright, so you can't really see, but it says beauty works x molly may on it and this is not a promotion it's not sponsored but these items were gifted to me but it was for an instagram post not for a youtube you're gonna need hair clips um i don't think that's my alarm it's actually 12 am and i'm filming this video i don't think 10 hair clips of these is enough so i also have these types of hair clips these types of hair clips and these types of hair clips um and i'm going to show you guys why i use so many different types of hair clips and what i use them for also i am going to be using this clip to clip sections of my hair whilst i curl the rest so yeah let's get into it section my hair like this like three quarters of my hair i'm gonna clip up um this is my first time filming a hair tutorial for youtube so bear with me <laughs> also guys i'm so ill I don't have corona but i don't have corona but i'm really ill um well i'm just recovering from being ill so i'm just gonna comb my hair out because i have a heat protector make sure you use that but i don't really have any right now so i'm not gonna be using heat protector but you should be using it you can take smaller sections but i take this much of a section i feel like that's an inch i don't know and then I take the curler, obviously, and then I just wrap it, the hair around the curler, like I wrap it flat though. And then I just leave it for like 10 seconds. And then I drop the curl into my hand. And then I just drop it down, so it looks like that. I'm gonna do the same to the rest of the section over here. I don't pin them up straight away. I've done the whole section on one side if that makes sense I'll this and I'll be back to show you guys how I pin them up and then I just take my hand wrap the curls around my hand and pin it there so just pin it right there I'm gonna do the same thing to this side and I'll be right back that to the rest of my hair but I like the look of a blowout so I do my hair in this specific way so it kind of mimics the blowout and then have two side sections and a middle section here from your face. I mean that's what I do anyway, this is just how I curl my hair. You don't have to do that if you don't want to but I like the curls away from my face so that's what I'm doing here. I'm looking up because the mirror is right in front of me and the camera is kind of low so if you're wondering why I'm looking up, that is why. And I'm gonna pin these up as well in the same way that I did to the bottom few. Like that. The thing is with the back section, I curl it like 
this way and then pin it like so it's like this one so it's like poofy i don't know how to explain how do i explain that like that and then i leave it so let me just show you i think it would be easier shown than me saying and i don't section them like this i leave it so it's one section but i split them into two like two pieces on top of each other if that makes sense this way I think it will be easier for me to explain when I get to the top of my head because I can show you better there flat curl them then that and then I take them into my hand and then if you have rollers by the way I don't have my rollers with me because they're in Leicester but if you have rollers this is put in the rollers and I use this clip it's getting hot in here oh let me open the window it's getting really hot these sections when I get to these sections I just curl them all in one go because um, I'm not taking actually no I'm just going to two because I need I want it to be curled right when you get to the top one you curl them you want to make sure you curl up uh, you want to make sure you curl it as close to the root as you can without burning yourself um, because I like the most volume in the front I mean as in I have a lot of hair so I have a lot of volume to my hair that's why I like curling my hair not straightening it because whenever I straighten it it just goes like wavy again anyway so you want to wrap around there so this stuff is just honestly not my day. It's just not my day. I'm just gonna curl this to the best of my ability. Just pin these off so I'll be able to pick. Okay, so now we're at the top of the head and <laughs> so the way I curl this is I split this whatever's left two sections like this. section you just want to curl it so then it can just when you pin it it stays up like this because that's how you get like loads of volume in your hair well that's how I do it anyway I'm really sad that I burnt my finger it's really hurting pin that down and I'm gonna do my this part so I'm gonna just section off like this much and this is my fringe so i want to curl the the fringe so it goes outwards like going to take this coming out quite a chunky piece but that's okay i'm just gonna leave this for a while because it's quite a chunky piece so i'm gonna leave it for like 20 seconds i'd say like that Okay, now I look really crazy. It's actually quite fast. It's only took me like 15 minutes to do and pin this up as well. So I'll be right back. Let me just pin this up. This is what your curls should look like. They're all pinned up. I leave these for like 10-15 minutes when I can be bothered. I'll leave them for like half an hour, an hour. Or I'll do this and then I'll do my makeup and then I'll take them out. But right now I'm just going to leave them till they're cool and then I'm just going to take them out and brush them out and I'll show you guys back guys. And now I'm going to take out all the curls and stuff in the bottom. I don't know if that was exactly the bottom bottom but... Mm. Ah, they're so curly. One minute, let me shut the window, it's really noisy outside. When you live in Bradford, that is literally all you hear boys racing their cars because yeah okay look crazy crazy okay so i'm just gonna shake them out i mean you could leave your curls like this shake them out that's what i'm doing now i'm just gonna flip my head over and shake my curls out i always do this 
people always ask me how do you get so much volume in your hair that is literally what i do to get the volume in my hair like i don't put loads of product in my hair i just make sure i shake the curls out well that's after i shake them out and i'm just gonna take that same comb from the kit and just comb them out softly you don't want to do it really harshly because you don't want to completely comb the curls out exactly soften them up it depends how you like your hair if you want really tight curls don't comb them out like that just shake them out but if you want like a blowout then make sure you do comb, comb them out okay so i'm just gonna mess around with it until i like how it looks see i like how it's got that little poof kind of thing I like how they look like curtain bangs because I mean I do have curtain bangs but they're really long so yeah this is how my hair looks guys um I swear I don't really take to put up my baby hairs I have so many baby hairs but I just do that and just comb them in like spray the curls I just ate so much hairspray right there this is how I cover my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of it in and the curls obviously drop the longer I leave my hair like this um but I really like the way they look on each other like every time they drop if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to like comment subscribe and click the bell to be first notified on when I post follow me make sure you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and TikTok and I will have them linked down below my so make sure you follow them all to stay updated on what I'm doing in my life. Um <laughs> but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.